Hey there, Sonny. Aren't you tired of building decks that will never see the light of day? Yeah? Well, I got some good news for you. State Zero is now hosting free webcam Wait. tournaments that will lead up here? to a free box or product tournament Hello? right before a set release. You can find all the information in the links on the screen. Hello? Just be sure to join the Discord if you have any questions. Come take time to hang out with the community and practice for the future webcam tournaments. It's going to be a lot of fun, but please go ahead and message me or any of the State Zero team members as well if you have any questions. We'll see you there. All right, everybody. So this is basically my setup. Basically my setup. This is pretty like standard. Uh, all it is is just a, a nice little webcam that goes down uh, and has a sort of mount thing. This is the Logitech C90E, I want to say. And uh, this one's kind of hard to find in my experience anyway. The only reason why I got it is because it has a, a wider lens or a lighter perspective. And um, the 920E, I think, or the 920 does pretty well and they're in like the 100 150 range i just wanted to get a webcam that i didn't want to buy a webcam for the rest of my life so this is it if you ever buy one you can get one for like 50 bucks or less 25 dollars or less it just depends and varies on what kind of quality it is i would look into the field of view because a lot of people struggle where they don't really see everything like on their mat and they're like well they're they're just basically struggling on the on the webcam or on discord and that's just that's usually what it is so if you ever look up a webcam, go look up the field of view and make sure that it has a pretty good wide field of view comparative to like this, which is the 930 that you're going to take a look at in a second. But yeah, you can mount it right here. I am fortunate enough to have, um, see sort of like this quick little behind the scenes. This is like a little uh, monitor mounts. Ah, I forget what it is. Arms. There you go. Monitor arms. I have the tripod that usually has a camera that we're using right now. And then a little a little light up here, so nothing too crazy. Pretty standard for any sort of YouTube-esque setup. But if you want to take it a step further, some of these have these 3.5 millimeter, uh, I don't know if I can focus on that, 3.5 millimeter uh, holes here where basically you can put this thing on uh, underneath and then it'll go on top of your, your little tripod here. And you can always set up like a table, um, you can set up a, like a like a power or like a cord that goes up to the table that you can go on top of the tripod and you can just put it down on top of the table or above the table I should say. So basically so that you don't have to use your monitor but you can be close to your computer or your laptop or whatever you're using uh, and then just use a tripod instead. Okay so let's go ahead and switch over to the webcam so that way you guys can take a look at that. Okay, so this is what it looks like on uh, the webcam. So this is all from the webcam just recording from OBS. And if you don't like OBS or if you want to use something else, you can. Um, I just like OBS for a few reasons. And of course, for any of the stuff I'm talking about or webcam recommendations, uh, I'm going to put it in the description below as well. Uh, so that way you guys can take a look at that. But uh, I'm going to move this here. So again, I have my desk. Uh, you can, again, for anything you can, you know, invest into an iPod or iPod, <laughs> a tripod, or put it on top of the uh, the monitor that we have that I have right now, and then adjust the monitor as as you go. That's usually the go-to for me, and then adjust the uh, the the webcam. Um, what am I saying? Just to make just make sure it doesn't fall off. There you go. All right. So uh, usually the how I uh, model it is if. Everything, as you can see here, this is going to be the same, I would say, view as Discord. Uh, so as long as you can see everything here, then you can see everything in Discord. As long uh, as, as soon as you go into Discord, which we'll, we'll go into it in just a second, uh, you'll be able to see that too. If you do want to use OBS, uh, all you have to do is just add a scene, uh, go here, and then add a video or video sort of thing, create a new one. Uh, and then just go to your, your webcam from there and it should show up. It's not showing up here because I already have it set up in another scene. And then as long as you can see everything, um, you know, uh, just taking my, one of my decks here, uh, you should be able to see whatever, whatever it is, at least be able to tell, you know, what's actually there. And I would always recommend before you invest into anything is to have good lighting. Lighting is almost always the the um the culprit versus bad equipment or bad uh bad camera or whatever so like if i open up the window here you can see just a little bit more clearly or at least have more light and i have less light then it just changes as it goes and then of course i have my light up here 
which provides a little bit more light and uh, you can see the cards just a little bit more as well. And then lastly, uh, make sure to configure your video uh, within the settings for OBS because that actually controls everything outside globally, including your uh, Discord. So like here, um, you can mess with the zoom in case you have like a, a less wide angle. I usually turn off the focus as well and then the exposure so that way it doesn't change the focus and it doesn't uh, change how much light is actually uh, coming in and out and of course you can change the brightness if you want to just depending on uh, how bright or less bright that you want to uh, make it I would just mess around with these settings and just make sure that your your cards are actually uh, visible and it looks good this is actually uh, for those who are wondering why this is like mirrored I think it's just because um, it's flipped. So this will be a little bit better if you can actually see it. There you go. Okay. Let's take a quick look at discord. Um, so basically what you want to do is just make sure that your, your camera is working, um, pretty much at any time. Uh, as long as it's connected here and it's showing here, this is flipped because, uh, that's just how discord is. I would ask your opponent to see if it's flipped or not. Sometimes if you're, uh, editing stuff in OBS or, uh, stream labs or whatever that you may be using, if you are dabbling into that, uh, that's you come at kind of the reason why it'll, it'll look like this. So that's sometimes why uh, it'll do that. But most of the time it's actually a mirrored effect uh for them so they can actually see um the right side up way and then of course you can also uh, mess around with the virtual camera uh this is something completely different or at least separate from this i would look up virtual camera for obs uh so that way you can you can you know mess around with like pictures and like picture in picture and other things like that basically what it is is that when you turn on the virtual camera anything that you see on Streamlabs or obs will show up on this so for instance, if you really wanted to do it, you can put text or whatever. And then as you edit it in OBS, you can do that as well. This is more of a separate thing. Like I said, you don't have to do it. Okay. Let's start here uh, before we do anything. So any of the uh, tournaments that you might want to sign up for uh, are, are always going to be here. I'm probably going to stick with uh, to launch for the future. I would say maybe best coast pairings or are not K would be alternatives, but for now, um, we already have everything set up here and I'm already a familiar with Chalon, so I'm not going to be messing with that. So the discord link is pretty much peppered into everything that we do, but you can find it here. But if you're going to be linked to the, um, upcoming tournament or any of the tournaments, you can always find the full description here that has pretty much all information. I'm going to go ahead and click on the link and we'll open up discord. Um, you can just go ahead and join. And then as it goes, which uh, I think Discord is just killing itself. There you go. Uh, the welcome role will be right here or the welcome message will be right here. And then you can assign yourself in the roles. Would you just click on that? Or you can go at the top left. And then as soon as you assign yourself a role, um, you can actually see the given channels because you can't see it here. But as soon as you get a role, uh, you should be able to see it right after. So no role here, role here. A lot of people maybe asking that uh for the future but here you go so here's another um copy and paste of the rounds a little bit more information as well here's where you can sign up for any of the given tournaments of that week so right now it's the may 5th and then we also have a uh, tournament announcements which we don't really have any because there's not really much going on pairings we don't have any because there's nothing started yet any of the judge requests that you may need or uh, might want to ask about is here and then uh, any of the general chat, which Bacon Boy wanted to go ahead and just say yes. And of course, you might get a message. I already did this before, so this is why I have another one. And then it will uh, kind of explain anything and everything that you might need to know. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not really much else. As soon as... Uh, oh, the last thing is going to be tables. Um, the tables will be located down here. Let's say you're in a bracket uh, and you're going through the rounds. Let's say table one or table two you'll have that assigned table within the given um, voice channels or the, uh, the the channels at the bottom left there, which you will see uh, after I get that updated. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. Hit me up on the Discord. Or you can put it into the general chat, um, et cetera. If you can't speak, assign yourself a role because that's actually how you'll be able to speak throughout the time. So there you go. I'll see you in the next one.